So my name is Leon Farasari. I'm a uh, product manager at Qualcomm. And today I'm here to show you uh, the Snapdragon mobile development platform. Um, this was announced today and it's going to be offered through our partner B Squared. Uh, so what we did here is we uh, developed a, a 3D UI for for this uh, for this device, it's really cool. There's a creature in there that uh, could bite your hand if you get too close to it. Uh, so just just a uh, you know showcase of what you can do with with the 3D UI. Um, another really cool thing that um, that you can do with the future Snapdragon chipset um, is is the graphics capability. So uh, we have an Adreno 205 uh, core in this, and what you can do is you can really develop uh, console level, console quality uh, games on, on, on this device. So this is, uh, this is a game called Ilo Milo. It's really cute. You got two, two characters that are supposed to get to each other, attract each other. They move stuff. Um, it's, it's very, very rich. It's very smooth. Um, you can actually. You can actually play the real oh, game. It's you can actually. Cash, you yeah. can actually play the game, yeah, and you can cool. see how responsive this game is yeah. to to actual play. So let's play. So these are the two characters. Um, and I'm gonna start. So. It's really console level, OpenGL ES 2.0, This gives you a sense of what you can do in terms of graphics uh, and uh, graphics capability. And do you, you know what the, do you know what the price point is going to be on on the uh, kind of like the polished device that's going to look like oh, this? Oh, absolutely! Thing? This was announced uh, this morning, and the device is going to cost you uh, 995, which is which is very affordable for a development platform. Um, you have a, a 12 megapixel camera mm -hmm. uh, for the front. You also have another camera. Um, sorry, back camera, and you got the uh, front camera, and uh, lots of cool things you can do with that. Very um, cool. You have all the sensors um, that you want, accelerometer, gyroscope, um, you have the haptics uh, motor in there, so lots of cool things. But what's really cool about this, besides being a Bluetooth stethoscope, so you can record the heart sounds or lung sounds. You can um, transmit them, obviously, uh, using it to a, to a back-end system. But what's really cool is if you have two people with a Bluetooth stethoscope, they can both be wearing the stethoscope, and literally they can talk to each other. So my Bluetooth stethoscope connecting to my phone can, tra can go across the country and I can have a conversation with the other provider wearing their stethoscope. And they're just using the transducer on the face of the microphone as the microphone. So it's not only getting the heart sounds and the lung sounds, it's actually at working as a communications tool so that two doctors or a doctor and a patient can communicate with each other. So this is a, a Lipman, Lipman stethoscope. It's commercial today. This is another smart Band-Aid. What you're seeing here is the adhesive, the white part. You're seeing a little holder. That little holder has a little tiny needle on the backside. That needle actually goes into a diabetic patient here on the lower abdomen. And then the gray part is a radio. So this is a wireless, continuous glucose monitor. Commercial today. Sends the transmission out. This particular company, while they're using wireless here, are not yet using cellular, but they're in the process of just launching, finishing the development on their first cellularly equipped monitor where you actually read the results and then the results go up to, up to the net. So this part's already wireless, already commercial, already approved. The cellular part will be out by the end of the year. So I'm Andrew Cheeseman with Mattel. This is uh, this is my HTC uh, my HTC Incredible. You can see it's just a camera, and here on the ground, you see that we printed up a target. Normally, we the targets that we actually use in the office are just a regular sized sheet of paper, but this is a conference, so we decided we'd go big. 
So when you look through the camera and you point it, oops, when you look through the camera and you don't hit the volume button and you point it at the target, what you'll see is that the uh, is that robots appear. Not robots and a boxing ring appear right here, and and it's as though the robots were right there. So I can actually zoom in and look at the robot's detail. I can look at his eyes, right? <laughs> I can I can look at the detail on him, even though there's no actual robot there, but the camera thinks that there is, or you would you might think that there is by looking at the camera. At any rate. So I can control the robot. I'm the blue robot here, and I can walk forward. And notice I have to actually pan the camera because the robot is walking over to the right side of the target. So let's move over here. So part of the way you play this game is in order to get the right perspective to keep playing, you, uh, you move around the target. So I'm gonna punch him like that, and I have a little misaligned. Let's, uh, let's punch him again. Let me get in a little closer, and I'll do a quick jab, jab. So, I can pretty much knock him completely out. So let's take care of him once and for all. <laughs> there you go. And so there's the, ro uh, I lost the target. That's how, that's how you play the game.